Because Keith's an ally and uh, he goes to drag shows. The most music. Niner 22. Fun Tower Radio. All requests Saturday night fun time. Get ready to win tens of dollars. It's time to play Fun Tower Radio's breaking news bloopers. Woo-hoo! Here's your host, Rock and Ron Sedillo. It's a daily. It's a daily, damn it. Oh. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Unbelievable. Come on, Mr. Cave, it's Sedaly. <sighs> okay, so we're going to play a Fun Tower Radio uh, breaking news bloopers, but before we do that, I would like to uh, bring Michelle P. Russo up. And uh, Michelle, I want you to talk about you what you did earlier today. You were on a 50,000-watt blowtorch today, weren't you? I was. So tell us all about it. Tell us what happened. Oh, well, I was interviewed Mm -hmm. by the highly esteemed Morgan Cunningham, Mm -hmm. and we talked about hypnosis and dream work, and we just had a great time for a full hour. Wow. And that's your specialty, right? It is, yes. Do you want to plug your website? Yeah, sure. My website is just michelleprousseau.com. It's Michelle with one L and the French spelling of Rousseau. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Now, here's how breaking news bloopers works. I'm going to send you your news copy. I'm going to Facebook message it to you, okay? And okay. you're, you're going to open it up. I'm not going to I'm not going to give you much time to look at it because you you need to be a serious newscaster and you cannot laugh. Just make believe you're Morgan Cunningham from WTIC News Talk 1080 in Hartford. Okay? Oh, nobody can be Morgan. All right. Now, um, what do you think, Dave? Should I should I grab it? Or, or are you going to do it? I think I'm good. Oh. I think I have it. All right. Give it a, can you test it for us? I'll give it a I'll give it a go. One second. Okay. There we go. So, Michelle, you're going to start off with $50 and every time you laugh, you're going to lose $10. So you need Aww. to you need to maintain a straight face, and even if we can't hear you laughing, if if Dave detects that you're laughing, he's going to hit that uh, that sound. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. All right. Here oh, we go. I hate that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send you your news copy right now, and then we're going to I'm gonna play the news bed. I'm gonna introduce you, and then I want you to do. The news. Are you ready? Okay. Am I supposed to print this out or just no, keep it on the no, screen? No, print it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that's okay. We don't print things out anymore, Michelle. We don't use paper. Okay. I am old school. I'm the Wait. retro bell. There are no file cabinets at this radio station. Everything <laughs> is okay. So you got your news copy. I just sent it to you. I'm going to hit the news bed right now. It is uh, 20-something degrees here in Hartford at 926. I'm Rockin' Ron Sedaly with Fun Tower Radio breaking news bloopers. And Michelle P. Russo is going to give us the news report. Go ahead, Michelle. Thank you, Rockin' Ron. An Iowa woman is facing multiple charges (laughs) after setting (laughs) to a stranger's porch. The home resident called the police after she got a motion alert on her security camera. <laughs> the suspect was identified as Michelle Young, 46. <laughs> this isn't even funny. <laughs> Young admitted to investigators that she started the fire because she saw a sign that said, <laughs> which is welcome. Young then lit some items she found on fire because she believed the resident was a witch. Breaking news from Irvine, California. A university research team says about 14% of the female seagulls on an island off the California coast are lesbians. (laughs) The researchers call it the first solid evidence of widespread homosexuality among wild birds. No evidence of homosexuality among male birds was... I'm going to owe you money. An Oklahoma woman was forced to flee her home after her Tulsa apartment complex caught fire. She described what happened to to our news team. So the girl come downstairs. She come out of her apartment with her baby with no shoes on. I said, oh, girl, it's cold outside. She said, something ain't right. 
tape. I said, oh man, she said, oh man, the building is on fire. I said, no, what? I got my three kids and we bounced out. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna be in no fire. <laughs> Not today. Sticky situation at an airport in Tennessee after baggage was sprayed with rocks. <laughs> It. it happened at a Nashville airport where water and sewage from a clogged toilet leaked through the floor onto a conveyor carrying passenger luggage. The passenger could not believe it. Girl, I just came in from a flight from Chicago, Illinois. I had to hurry down to the conveyor to get my suitcase because my sister was picking me up. Well, the okay. suitcase came around the corner and I looked at it and I said, Corn kernels? How did I get on my suitcase? <laughs> the airport said that the tainted baggage was sanitized before being loaded onto planes. <laughs> I'm Michelle P. Russo, Fun Tower Radio oh. News. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Michelle, I can't. Michelle owes me about $700, okay? You can PayPal that to me, Michelle, all right? Okay, that was hilarious. That was really funny. Good try, Michelle, okay? My eyes are watering. Yeah, she's she's crying over there.